Hi there! So, Benefit recently launched a new mascara and uh, I have it here! It's the FanFest mascara and I want to try it today with you on camera. I never uh, tried it before, I never even looked at it. I don't know how the brush is looking. I didn't even take it out of the box to be honest. Oh, okay. That's pretty cute. So I'm just gonna test it out today and see uh, the effect that it has on my lashes. I'm really curious, so let's get into it. As usual, I will be using a lash curler before applying uh, anything on my lashes to get a bit of a lift and a curl in my lashes, of course. So I'm pinching my lashes at the base and I like tilting the lash curler towards my lid and then uh, pinching some more. <laughs> Like that, I already see a difference. I sometimes repeat the process just to maximize the effect. So, doing that again, make sure to not pull your lashes. I don't feel anything, it's not painful or anything, and it shouldn't be. So, let's look at the FanFest uh, mascara. Okay, so it has um, that kind of a curled one kind of similar to the I forgot the name they have they, they have another curling mascara I just looked it up I couldn't remember so it's the roller lash but this one has those kind of a classic uh, bristles that like usual mascara ones have a uh, while the roller lash and I think most benefit mascaras have a silicone brush so this is kind of new for them I hope I'm not wrong and they don't have another mascara with regular bristles most of them have uh, silicone bristles from what I know. Let's get into the application. I'm starting at the base of my lashes and I do left and right motions to coat every lash into the product. This is extremely black. I think the shade is called extreme black or something like that. Let me be accurate. Uh, it's hyper black. I will be using the leftover product from my brush on the lower lashes. I'm curious what are the claims for this one because I didn't read anything. So it says fan out lashes side to side, amplify volume and multiply the look of lashes. Smudge proof, water resistant. Yeah, I did notice that the fact that it separates the lashes. Definitely more of a volume mascara, doesn't add a lot of length but it does separate exactly how they say it, that it multiplies the look of lashes it defines each lash so of course kind of adds volume um that's the effect that i notice i do want to add a second coat to see the effect but this is how it looks with just one coat so you can um, analyze it for yourself <laughs> i picked up some more product i can definitely feel the water resistance thing because uh it feels like it's kind of difficult to calm them right now. They feel somehow like they set, so it doesn't stay wet on the lashes. They don't feel truly stuck like a waterproof mascara would do. I'm guessing that water resistant is different than waterproof. Okay, second coat is done. This is how they look. Even on the second coat, the separation is still here. They didn't get clumped to each other, which I can really appreciate. So it's a nice volumizing mascara that doesn't clump or load the lashes too much. I like it, although I'm not exactly blown away. I mean, it is a nice mascara, but that's about it. I also think Benefit has uh, better options when it comes to mascara. Maybe the Bad Girl Bang mascara, that one's really nice. Even the roller lash, the roller lash is, like, is actually amazing as well. But this is a nice addition to their collection, especially with the new kind of a brush that without that uh, those silicone bristles. I guess they now have a lot of variety in terms of mascara. So that is everything for my little demo for today with the FanFest mascara from Benefit. Let me know if you've tried it, if you're curious. Uh, any thoughts about it. I think again as many other benefit products it is a nice one. I'm going to head out. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye!